Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is U up in any of the premises and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence, it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Kwam that migrated from Badesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the bail birth of Kong when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Kong people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie. Kong. This is Education Today. Hello, televiewers. You are welcome to another edition of Education Today. In Education Today, we are going to have French and history. Let's take a break. When we come back, we are going to begin with French. A word is you in any of the premises that word should not be D in the comma. You should. If that comes to say invalid, hence it has committed the fallacy of illicit, either major or minor. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions, a program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. Bonjour, cher Abi. Bienvenue sur l'éducation aujourd'hui, présenté par la Fondation Mentor. Uh, welcome. Dear televiewers, today we will be talking about letter writing. Most of all, this one will be attached at the level of what we consider as the informal letters, la lettre informelle. So, how can we present an informal letter? In other words, what is an informal letter? When you talk about an informal letter in a normal way, it is simply known as that letter where you are asked to discuss be it, with a family, be it with a family member or with a relative. So, uh, uh, chers amis, la lettre informelle, c'est cette lettre qui vous amène à mieux communiquer de manière libre avec tout individu, toute personne qui vous entoure. And you should know that in an informal letter, there is no restriction. You can just say whatever you want to say the way you think and there's no rules to follow. But now at the level of the GC board, for those who are writing the GC, uh, there are some criteria that we, in the Department of French, we usually follow. So uh, these are some of the criteria. The first thing is attached at the level of the heading. How can you present the heading of your letter? And the second thing is attached at the level of the content. What can we explain, or what do you think that a content can signify in a letter, in a given letter? The third one now is attached at the level of the conclusion. How can you conclude your letter? Focusing on this one, or based on what we have just mentioned, we will have, for example, an ex we will have, for example, to use an example of a topic that have always been coming in a GC. So, uh, dear friends, just let us look at this topic.
écrivez une lettre à votre oncle, lui informant de votre réussite au GC Ordinary Level. You are simply asked to write a letter to your uncle in order to inform him that you have passed your GC Ordinary Level. Now, most of the time at the level of the GC board, when they give you this type of topic, under the topic, they usually give you some address. This one, they call them code address, which is most of the time used by the candidate in order to simply to order, in order to simply cover their identity so that those who are marking will not be able to trace them and I believe at, a, at that level the marking will be really good. So, dear friend, what I can say at this level, first of all, we will first of all leave this one. Let's consider that you are writing this letter to your uncle in a simple way. You have your own address. What are the things that you need to do? The first thing, you need to have your own address. So, first of all, we'll be talking about the scale, the good scale that we can have on what they call a familiar letter, an informal letter, in local and formal. So let's look at this scale first. Now, when you're writing an informal letter, in French language most of all, the first thing that you have to do is to look for what I consider most of the time as the space which is made for your rough work. You tabulate a scale of this sort. Now, at the, at the top, at the right side of this scale, you insert your date. Now, now on the left side, you, you let me say you can go down on one or two centimeters. There you insert, first, the, the first thing you insert here should be your name. And the second thing, where you are coming from or where you are living. Now, after you have inserted your own information, your own address, now you need to now go back to the right side. You present the address of the person to whom you are writing. That person is known as your uncle. So, you come down now, the right side side, you write here, I'm mon oncle. If it is Jean, you say Jean. Here, following this heading, you have the first thing, the date, the second thing, your own address, and the third thing is the address of the person to whom you are writing. <coughs> now, this is most of all what you consider as the heading of a simple letter writing or an informal letter writing that can be seen in, in the French department. Now, after this one, you move now to what we call the introduction. Jeffrey, you should know that introduction in any essay work is known as this part of the essay which is mostly there to inform us or he who is marking what we are expecting in the body. When you use the introduction, when you write an introduction or when you present an introduction, know that he who is reading an introduction, he will know what you are trying to explain in a body. So most of the time this introduction part is something that you should always insert. And whenever you are writing your letter, make sure that you should tabulate it in form of paragraphs. So, for example, let's start here. We just use a board. Now you see, if you were to insert, for example, an introduction here, you will be at the level of this first, this first board, or the first square that I've just drawn. Now, this square is considered as what we call the first paragraph. After this one was inserted, you move now to the second paragraph. After the third, second paragraph was inserted, then now you move to the third paragraph. Jeffrey, let me remind you that 
in the first paragraph, which is known as the introductory part, you, if you use this topic, you should be able to tell your uncle why you are writing. Simply you tell him, I'm writing to inform you that I've passed what my GCE online level. Short and simple. Now, in the second paragraph, you dare now explain to your uncle the number of subjects that you have passed. If you were offering 10 subjects, you say, I've passed 10 subjects. Short and simple. You don't give long sentences. Now, when you move to a third paragraph, you cry now to thank your uncle for all what he has always do, or all the support that he has always brought for you in order to make it possible for you to pass your examination. There, if once you are down there at the level of third paragraph, you have already ended your letter. The only thing you can say here is Tafi, if you're a girl, Tafi, if you're a girl, Mireille, or ton fils, Jean. So, now, this is a scale. Now, let's go now deep into the matter. Jeffrey, let's start to talk now about the heading and how we can present this one. Now, if you have a scale of this sort, what are the things that you can do? Now, let's try to follow this board. As I was talking about a date here. Now, when you want to write a date, you should write a date fully. For example, here, if it is today, if, for example, if, if today is Friday, you can say, Vendredi, Vendredi, Vigil, Le, Vincent, or Le 22, 22 Novembre, 2016. When it is done, you underline your date. Always underline your date. That's the first thing, fully. Now you move now to your address. The second thing, you must present your own address. How can you present your own address? The simple thing, you start with your name. So, if you are called, for example, Toko, you write, Toko Jean, and on that, you precise where you are living. Muliko Boya. This is your own address. Now, after you have inserted your own address, you must present the address of that person to whom you are writing this letter. Who is that person? Who, to whom are you writing this letter? Sure, it is to your uncle. Let's say, this is his own address. I'm mon oncle. Jean. Now, this is the address of your uncle. After you have inserted the address of your uncle, there is this simple thing that you need to do. What we consider most of the time in French language as what we call greeting. And this greeting must come strictly on the left side of this letter. You follow, you give one centimeter to the on, one centimeter under the address of the person who received your letter. This is how you should present it by saying. Salut, cher oncle. That's a greeting. After you say salut, cher oncle, you will now move to the first paragraph of your letter. It, this first paragraph of your letter is known as the introduction. Now, when you want to follow these steps, what are the things that you think that you can do in order to follow this step? As I was saying before, you don't need to give us a very long sentence. You just go back to your topic, you use the essential meaning, the essential information which is coming from this topic, and you provide it as the introduction. Here they are saying, écrivez une lettre à votre oncle, lui informant de votre réussite au GC ordinary level. So, you simply come down at the level of the introduction, you write, Je t'écris cette lettre pour t'informer que 
j'ai réussi. À mon examen du GCE Original Level. So, the information here, as I was saying, at a level of introduction, you present this introduction by simply telling us that you are writing this letter to inform your uncle that you have passed your GC ordinary level. J telespectators, when we come back, we'll continue with our notes on letter writing. We'll be talking about the body of this letter. Thank you. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is Education Today. At any point in time where a term is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid and hence it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Com that migrated from Badesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the big best of Com when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie on. This is Education Today. Do you have a mansion with very little or no idea on how to decorate it? Or are you in need of a designer to decorate your ceiling, pillars, wine bars, snack bars? Then Joya Modern Staff Decoration has solutions to all your problems. At Joya Modern Staff Decoration, we specialize in house decoration such as painting, wall smoothing, windows and door decoration, staff pillars, panty coating, plastic and lambrin decoration, and etc. You can visit us at my 18 Moya Road, directly opposite Charo Hotel Boya, or contact us on 679-342544 or 66. 377473 with Joya Modern Staff Decoration. Your house integration problems are past events. Education Today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers on. Okay, dear friends, welcome back to Education Today. This is CMTV, your TV, and our TV, the TV of the world. And I believe that if you are watching us, you'll be well guided. So pay attention. We just ended with the introduction on how to present a letter. We were talking about this topic, which is attached at the level of an informal letter. Now, when you are a student and you are asked to write maybe an informal letter, or write a letter to your, your uncle, your mother, your sister, or your friend. This letter, as I was saying before, is a letter where every word that you have, everything, every, any emotion that you think that you can include there, can go. While in the former letter, it is bound. 
you need to follow some steps. So I was saying that when you are writing an informal letter, there are steps that you need to follow. The first thing was the date. The second thing was your own address. The third thing was at the level of the address of the person to whom you are writing a letter. And before starting with your paragraph, you need to greet. This is what we call a greeting pattern. You need to greet what? Your uncle. That's why we said, Kreshe uncle. And when I was talking about the introduction, I was saying that if you want to present an introduction, you should just go straight to the point. You take what you're having in your topic and you bring it out in a simple manner by saying, Je t'écris cette lettre pour t'informer que j'ai réussi mon examen du GC ordinary level. Now, once you have this paragraph, you need now to move to the second paragraph. In the second paragraph, as I was saying, based on this topic, you need now to tell your uncle that you have passed a number of subjects. Maybe if you are presenting 10 subjects, you say, Cher oncle, j'ai eu à valider 10 matières. And when you tell him that you have passed this number of subjects, these 10 subjects, you should state them down. And after you have done so at the level of the second paragraph, which is already the body, you move now to the conclusion, you try to thank him. Now let's look how you can present this one. This part in the body. You can just say, Tonton. Because Tonton is see a way of cherishing your uncle in French language. Tonton, j'ai eu à valider dix matières. Qui sont? Deux points, l'histoire, le français, les mathématiques. So, this is the second paragraph. So, in the second paragraph, as I was saying, you simply tell your uncle that you have passed the number of things that you were presenting level of the GC. If you are, for example, if you are presenting 10 subjects, you say, Tonton, j'ai eu avalidé 10 matières. Qui sont? I've passed 10 subjects, which are history, l'histoire, le français, le mathématiques. You try to state all those subjects. This is the second part of that letter. The second paragraph. And I should remind you that whenever you are presenting your letter, it should always be in paragraph, in what we call blocks. Let, let us look at this small scale here again. If this is your date, here is your own address, here is the address of the person to whom you are writing the letter, here is your first greeting pattern. And when you move down here now, this, is sh this should be your introduction. This is the first block, your introduction. After this first block, or this first introduction was written, you skip at least a line or two. And you start with your second paragraph. In the second paragraph, you are telling your uncle that you have passed a number of subjects. Now, after this third paragraph, you move now, the second paragraph, sorry, you move to the third paragraph. In the third paragraph now, you try now here to thank your uncle. Tell him that you are appreciating all the support he has always been giving you when you're preparing this examination. After this one is done now, you can simply say, ta fille, if you're a girl, or ton garçon. So this is, let, this is a scale that you need to follow. So now let's consider that we are at this level. We are through with this one. Now, in the third part, how can you thank that person who have always he has always been there for you to give you all the opportunity for you to make it possible to pass examination. There are some simple sentences that you need to put together in order to thank your, your uncle. 
So, let me just clean up, sorry, this topic, and I'll put it up here. You can just say, Ma famille et moi, Vigil, nous te remercions, Vigil, pour tous les soutiens. financier et spirituel virgule que vous m'aviez toujours apporté. Now, now at the level of this third paragraph, you see you are telling your uncle that you, your family, you and your family, or your family and you, are thanking him for all the support that he has, all the financial and the spiritual support that he has always bring in order to help you to make it possible for you to pass your examination. So once this is done, this is the third paragraph, the only thing I need to do now is simply now to move at this level. What we consider most of the time as what we consider as the last part of the greeting. It's like a way of saying goodbye. Or reminding him again that you were the person who were writing. There, you don't need to write your full name, which is Toko Zhang. You simply need to just say, if you're again, Tafi. Tafi. Mimi. If it was Mimi, if you are Jean, you can say, Ton fils, Jean. So, dear friends, dear students, this is how an informal letter is most of the time presented. And always keep in your mind that whenever you are writing an examination, you need not to use long sentences to explain whatever you think. At this level, please move straight to the point. Give us what we want. Let me remind you again. Uh, well, let me remind you again when I'm talking about an informal letter, is that letter which is always deserved. Or that letter to that you are always writing to to your friend the letter that you think that you can sit down and say let me write to my mother the letter that you think that you can sit down and say let me write to my uncle the letter that you sit, can sit down and say let me write to my brothers or my sisters when you are following the steps of this letter dear friends you are simply called at this level to use whatever words that you think that you can use but that is something that you can do only if you are sitting where in your house doing that but once you are in an examination hall you are there to end up gaining marks so you need to follow some certain rules and these are some of the rules i are giving you i move straight to the point you you are based on the scale that i just provided on this board the first thing is what is your date the second thing is your address this is the thing that you must see the third thing is the address of the person to whom you are writing this, this letter. Now, after that, there is what we call the first greeting. You greet the person to whom you'll be writing this letter. And after you have done so, you move now to your introduction. And I say there's a trick for you to present this introduction. You move back to your topic. You gain the information. What they're asking you to do and you try not to portray it down the level of introduction using some simple words. Some simple words, such as, je t'écris cette lettre 
pour t'informer que j'ai réussi à mon examen du DC Original Level. Now, after that, you move down now to the second part of the body, where you will be talking about the subject that you have passed, and you move again to the last one, you, you thank your uncle for all what he has done for you. And thereafter, you say, Tafi, ou ton garçon. Dear friends, if you have any question, pay a note on the number which is on your screen for the question to us, and we'll ask back. We'll come back uh, with more other information. Stay tuned. Thank Do you have a mansion with very little or no idea on how to decorate it? Or are you in need of a designer to decorate your ceiling, pillars, wine bars, snack bars? Then Joya Modern Staff Decoration has solutions to all your problems. At Joya Modern Staff Decoration, we specialize in house decorations such as painting, wall smoothing, windows and door decoration, staff pillars, panty coating, plastic and lambring decoration, and etc. You can visit us at my 18 Moya Road, directly opposite Charo Hotel Boya, or contact us on 679-342544 or 6637-7473. With Joya Modern Staff Decoration, your house integration problems are past events. Entertainment has gone beyond the borders of just playing music, movies, or programs. But it all involves getting the viewers involved in the program, directly or indirectly. Here on CMTV, we try our very best to take you right into the program. CMTV. Entertainment is never enough. Education today is a program that is geared towards empowering students of both the commercial and the grammar sector of our secondary schools institutions. A program that brings teachers of different caliber, dimensions, and individual subject matters who have masteries of these subjects, chief examiners, invigilators, in order to empower youth on some key aspects in order to tackle public examinations. This is education today. At any point in time where a tape is you up in any of the premises and that term becomes D, in the conclusion, our answer becomes what? Invalid. And hence, it has committed the fallacy of what? It is either major or what? Minor. The case of Com that migrated from Babesi because their leader had been tricked to kill all the then birth of Com when he realized that he committed suicide. And the Com people who saw it as an ill omen were forced to migrate and finally settled to lie Com. This is Education Today. Education today is a program that. So, Jeffrey, welcome back to Education Today. So, I believe you have ended with the scale of what I was considering as being an informal letter. In French, it's known as what they call a letter amical, a letter informal. So, if you have any question, please look the number which is on your screen, follow us your question, and we will give you some answers. Whenever I have some questions here, somebody is saying, when writing, when writing an informal letter, must you have to write your address, but only on the left? Okay. Somebody is simply saying that. If, for example, you are presenting an informal letter, and let me remind you, dear friends, that this is French language. And whenever you are writing your letter in French language, always put in your mind that there are some steps that you need to follow in order to present this one. What I just presented today, 
are known as the simplest way that you who is preparing an examination you can use it to guide yourself to present it to us at the level of the GC board and I believe if you present it like this you make it possible if for example you are sitting at home and you want to present something which is more better than this there you know it is what I can consider what they call an informal way based on your own category then nobody will mark it nobody will pay attention at the level of the heading the position of the, the position of your address the position of the person receiving address or even at the level of the structure of the various, various paragraphs you are free to do whatever you like there but as you are sitting at this in this examination hall follow these steps i i was saying that this is how you can present it the first one your date where right side the second one should be your own address where the left side the third one is your your uncle address the person who is receiving his letter now at the fourth position you, you what you present what they call the first greeting and now you move now with your various paragraphs so let us move to the second question somebody is saying do all french letters has to be written in three paragraphs voila what i really advise for those who are writing examinations i will repeat it again what i really advise for those who are writing examination they should follow this step why because when you follow these steps most of all most of the time we who are in this hall marking we pay more attention at the level of your presentation how this letter is being presented only you presenting a letter like this you are already ending up maybe having more than four marks without you knowing but if you're sitting at home you want to write to a friend somebody will not mark it nobody look at it if you like you join all the paragraph you mix it the way you want it but once you know that you are sitting there presenting your examination present it the way you the way i explain it on this board and you gain up having more marks so if you have any other questions please forward it to us use the number below and forward it to us is there any question okay while we think for the questions i would just like to pay attention <coughs> on something very important what we consider as education now education is something which you and i must gain in order to become a good citizen tomorrow and french language have been one of these good subject which was included in all the other programs in our state for us to gain the flexibilities of what they call the bilingual citizen and whenever you are called to speak or to say something in french language you are called to pay your own duty as a citizen now talking now at the level of a letter writing is also paying a tribute to this position of yours now uh, dear friends this was just a part if you have any question use the number below and forward it to us and you have an answer moreover if you have any other thing any other question based on any other topic which is being taught here always ask a question you use our address be it on facebook be it on an email or you use the the number which is on our screen and dear friends know that you are welcome today here in cmtv on education today thank you very much in our next class we'll be talking about something very important now this one will not concern only the students of the the the, the, the form five but you also consider will take in consideration students of form five and opposite we'll be talking about translation how can we translate a text from a source language a to what they call an original language b 
So, dear friends, stay tuned on CMTV each and every day. Pay attention on Fridays and you gain more on education today. Have a nice day.